Hi everybody! I'm about to dive into a five minute session. It's a Soul Journey Mini and I'm going to be getting connected with a kitty cat named Mauser. I've actually connected to Mauser before and uh, so the client is going to be traveling two different times. One time away without Mauser and the second time with Mauser to go visit a friend. <laughs> so um, this cat gets stressed out um, when the client is not there. So um, the request is for me to connect with Mauser, let Mauser know what the um, situation is, what to expect um, to help uh, with a smooth process, okay? So I'm gonna relax here and uh, get connected with Mauser. So I'm gonna let Mauser know and we'll see what Mauser says, okay? I will say is very exhausting right now. Um, there's sadness. I feel sadness right now. I feel uh, I feel kind of like I'm distant. Um, I feel kind of um, what would be? I see a cat that's sort of hanging out in the darkness of the closet and feeling sad. And not sure what to make of this. I haven't exactly talked to Mauser um, full on yet, <laughs> but this is the first experience that I have getting connected with Mauser when it comes to traveling. <sighs> Mauser comes towards me, and I actually pick up Mauser and I say, Hello, Mauser, how are you doing today? You are so beautiful. You are such a wonderful cat. Are you doing okay? You feel sad? Mauser takes a nice deep breath. And she seems to be aware or prepared for future events. So she's not necessarily stressed out there's no anxiety but there is kind of a kind of a deeper feeling about it because she has to prepare for this too you know it's just like like any human being we have to prepare for big things big changes in our life so sometimes when we have to prepare we can feel a little off or a little distant or a little withdrawn so she's showing me this mauser is showing me this and i know that you've already actually left for this first trip so i will say mauser is um she seems to be okay with this but she's still kind of processing it all right She's, she says that this, I mean, this is coming from her soul and her soul is saying that this is a uh, really important for her to have these experiences um, where she has to adjust to you not always being there. That's something that she has a trouble with is, um, hmm, how would I put it into words? I don't want to say letting go because um, it's not necessarily about letting go. But it's, there's some sort of sadness that she's expressing when it comes to you not being there. She doesn't know how to, she doesn't know how to feel happy without you there, um, and that's something she needs to work on. And her soul is saying that she's aware of this, that um, that she's at peace with your choices because this is something she has to work on. It's kind of interesting because she's in the souls in cat form, but cats have learning experiences too, you know. Okay. And I do see Mauser is getting brighter and she actually is responding quite favorably um, to me saying hello. She's super psychic. Um, cats are like so psychic. Really easy to talk to when it comes to psychic communication. Dogs are a lot different. <laughs> All right, so uh, she seems to be okay right now about you not being here. And she's actually quite happy that I came to visit. I'm going to talk to her about the next trip, okay? I say, um, you do know that you're going to be going on a trip 
and there's going to be a car ride. It's going to take a couple days. You're going to be spending time um, at a friend's house for a few weeks. Mm. But your best friend's going to be there. And you're not going to be alone. What do you what do you think about this? <sighs> okay, this is a bit strange. Um, it's shaky right now. There's a weird transition or transformation. It's not a very pretty picture, okay? But that doesn't mean it can't become pretty. There's just an expression here. It looks like a cat that's kind of been turned inside out. And so I'm looking at the cat literally like some invisible hands, like literally turn the cat inside out. So that's a, that's a cat's a message right now about this. Um, I guess you could say um, life can make us feel like we get turned inside out or we get turned upside down. So um, the first thing she says is this. I don't feel stressed though when she shows me this image. I don't feel anxiety about it. She's just showing me she's going to be turned inside out. <laughs> And I touch Mauser's heart and I say, you know what? Um, you're not going to be alone. And there's some preparation here so you can be prepared. So it doesn't feel so jarring and so extreme. So you're not being thrown into the boiling pot, so to speak. <sighs> okay, one more message I'm going to share with you. Uh, Mauser is sort of at the edge of a dark cliff and there's lots of shattered glass pieces and it looks like obsidian, like shattered volcanic gla glass or um, rock, like it's uh, shattered um, all over. And I'm looking at this and there's lots of fire and stuff. Mauser asked me, how am I going to get across to this extreme situation? And I say, don't look at it like this. I want you to look at it as though you're here with your best friend who is taking care of you. You, Mauser, are not the one that has to take care of the situation. You, Mauser, are going to be the one taken care of. So don't put it upon your shoulders to have to figure this all out. Allow yourself to be nurtured, okay? Mauser's thinking about this. Part of Mauser's identity is to be um, take care, to keep things in balance. Um, it's like um, to take care of you more than you take care of Mauser. So role reversal. <laughs> Mauser, you have to be taken care of this time. And you need to allow yourself to be taken care of. It's not time for you to take care of everybody else. It's time for you to be taken care of. So this is interesting because Mauser is sort of taking on the role of, um, I'm here to help you. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do when you throw me into this situation? I'm supposed to help you. And now I'm going to feel like this. And so Mauser's got to learn how to let herself be taken care of sometimes okay that's all I can say that's literally all I can say um thank you so much for exploring this I love the mini journeys can be a lot of fun um if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com have a great day